Kid, you need a little something, something now. Good evening. It's good to be back out in God's house again. Right, man? Brother Gary, you want to stand up and up the evening for the prayer, brother? Sit out here. Open up our hymn books to page 
ready to go before the Lord tonight. I ask you, has anybody got a special prayer request to put in their heart? Church know about? My church remember me and my family, Dave. And all the children, my grandchildren. Okay, remember all these requests. All those that, uh, sick and inflicted. Yes, remember all these requests. Anyone else? For Johnny also. Anyone else? Okay, remember all these requests. Remember the unsaved in my family. Yes. Good to have them both play. Okay. Anyone else? <clears throat> Alice is out of the hospital and she is in the, I think the nursing home right there across from Lowe's. Okay. Remember that request? Oh, she Uh huh. Anyone else? Remember me in the morning, Dave? It'll be pretty cold. You know how them old trucks are when it comes in. Remember that request? I'm sure we all got unspoken request, but I've left a hand. Remember Kid Half Hill Grand Baby? Yes, remember that request. She opened up her hymn books to page 567. 567. That's all standing. I'll ship the crowd and the altar. We'll get it to the middle of the prayer. Remember that
Anybody else got a prayer request for in your heart? Show me the law tonight. And never leaves for question. Anyone else? Okay, remember our request. Remember our bash on this afternoon. Yes. Remember this request. Anyone else? Remember Larry. Yes. He belongs to the wrong church to be a diabetic. <laughs> and he's like me, he's a food addict. You eating? I'm eating. <laughs> Whether I'm hungry or not. And uh, he's having more trouble right now. He's sure keeping it ever. Anyone else? The Lord's clear. Take his petition to the Lord this time. All right, Larry Norton, you want to lay this out, brother?
coming. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take one up. We'll get it. I got the cash. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, right, here we go. Everybody do this.
right over at that jump sign, I'm just saying. <laughs> Think someone's there hanging it up. Don't see no sign over there. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 Who's going to be first? Bless us, song or testimony? Anyone? I'll stand up and tell the Lord I love Him, and I'll tell you what. Just for last night, enjoying our fellowship down Amen. Amen. It was just great Amen. to be with everybody. And I know some of you wasn't there. You missed a blessing. Missed some good food too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyone else got a song or testimony on your heart? Anyone at all? Surely somebody else got testimony on your heart. That's another Lord more day. Thank you for allowing me to be in the house this afternoon. Glad I could get out and about. Thank you for your daily provisions that He provides for me and my family. Amen. Takes care of us. When we don't think there's no way, he makes a way. That's right. Love the church. Amen. God bless you, brother. Amen. Someone else. I love the Lord. Thank you for saying my soul. Thank you. That's all we've got to come through all that safe trip up and back. I want to thank you for that. Amen. Thank you for your joining. Amen. God bless you, sis. Someone else. You say right on long. You're not crazy. That's what I come here to do. Amen. I mean, in my heart, I'm constantly in my. I think of him constantly, and I praise him for just watching over me and saving me and keeping me. Amen. God bless you, brother. Somebody else. Somebody got testimony while she's coming for song. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Again. Yeah, can't cheat me this time. Tried to sing a song this morning, forgot the second verse. <laughs> that hurt my feelings, so we're going to sing it tonight. And I can't forget because they're up there. I listened as a man cried out to his God of wood and stone. And it broke my heart to see all the tears he shed alone and I knew that it was hopeless that he would not receive an answer from the God he served that could not hear or see how great it is so breath I take and every step I try how great it is to serve a God that's real who knows my every need and he knows just how I feel then I bow down on my knees to pray like so many times before and I boldly ask my God to hear my prayer once more and it seemed that the heavens opened up and I could hear him say he said yes my child I hear you what do you need today? How great it is to serve a living God Who knows each breath I take and every step I trod How great it is to 
On that uh, last part, I got to thinking, you know, he said that even the hairs on our head is numbered. Cheryl, I have bad days sometimes, and I've got friends that have really bad days, and God knows all about them, and he said he wouldn't burden you with no more than you could bear. And I believe with all of my heart, I believe with all of my heart that He hears every prayer that we pray. I believe He cares for everything that we go through in this world. But one thing I know, we'll never go through what His Son, what Jesus Christ went through. And I'm thankful that He was willing to pay that price for me. I'm telling you, the Lord's the best thing that ever happened to me, and I'm going to try that one too. I got a testimony while I find it. I thought while we were talking about love, the power of words this morning in our Sunday school hour, I thought how powerful that word love is. Yeah. You know, it's the, it's the greatest fruit of the Spirit. Amen. It's love. Yeah. And you know, you've got to have love to be able to give somebody else. Yeah. Amen. friend for so long you were right and I was wrong I can't repay all the love you've given me you were my friend when no one cared I was alone but you were there Lord you're the best thing that ever happened to me I owe it all to you, Lord. All I have is you, Lord. Take my life and make me what you'd have me be. I'm your child. You're my father. I am the clay and you're the potter. Lord, you're the best thing ever happened to me. A treasure for a dream all this I'm sure you've given me when troubles come you're always there to make me smile let come what may I will be done I love you Jesus God's only son Lord you're the best thing that ever happened to me I owe it all to you, Lord. All I have is you, Lord. Take my life and make me what you'd have me be. I'm your child and you're my father. I am the clay and you're the potter. Lord, you're the best thing ever happened to me. When I was sinking in despair, I called for help and you were there. You saved my soul, forgave my sin, and set me free. Now when I stumble and almost fall, you always answer when I call. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. I owe it all to you, Lord. All I have is you, Lord. Take my life and make me what you'd have me be. I'm your child and you're my father. I am the clay, you're the potter. Lord, you're the best thing that 
nothing ever happened to me. Now when my time has come to go, I leave my trouble here below. When I hear the angels gently calling me, as I leave this world below, you'll hear me whisper as I go, Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. I owe it all to you, Lord. All I have is you, Lord. Take my life and make me what you'd have me be. I'm your child and you're my father. I am the clay. You're the potter. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Yes, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Anybody else got a song, a testimony on your heart? Anyone? No, it's older up here as always, so. Where I'm up here, or Jamie's preaching, this altar's always open. If you have something that comes on your heart you need to pray about, just go right ahead and come on up here. Anyone? Got a testimony? Pardon? You gonna sing one? I guess Jamie's gonna try to sing one. Listen for Joe.
10 on the other one. Somebody testified way over here on that. I think something that's a long time off the track. I don't think it won't forget how. <laughs> you used to sing with a guitar and you got your own time with the guitar, but you've got to keep time with that thing when you sing it with that thing. Whenever you're ready. He's getting ready here. Ain't one at all. All right, I asked you to stand.
know whose them glasses are, but it ain't mine. <laughs> Thought maybe it might help me uh, see a little bit better this evening, but yeah, in the Ephesians chapter four. Ephesians chapter four. Amen. It is good to be saved. A lot of things today have went through my mind, through my heart, and uh, thought about the service this morning. I realized they wouldn't, uh, really wasn't any more this morning than what they is here tonight. I think actually about the same number for worship as what we had this morning, but God met with us in a mighty way. I therefore, verse 1, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherein you are called, with all lowliness and meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called into one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given the grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith when he ascended up on high, he laid captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now he that ascended, what is it but he that also descended first in the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is, he is the same that also ascended up far above all heavens that he might feel, or might feel all things. Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your mercy, for your grace. I thank you, Lord, for those songs. I thank you for the testimonies, God. Most of all, we thank you for the Spirit, God, that's been among us tonight. Sometimes, Lord Jesus, we wonder why you're so good to us. Father, we wonder why we get to feel your presence. Lord, the way we do, how sweet it is. I pray for a few minutes, God, continue to meet among us, Lord. Feed us from your word today, God, as we hunger and thirst after the things of you today, God. We love you, we praise you, we exalt you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen, and amen. You may be seated tonight. Again, on, on the, continuing with the uh, a sermon on the word power, amen. Let's go to the letter E tonight. Notice in verse 3, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. And then that word endeavoring means laboring, working together. I want you to know today, my friend, it's not an accident. Amen, that the Spirit of God is a moving among us as it is in our services. Amen, remember the Old Testament writer said, how good and pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity in the house of the Lord. It is like the precious ointment that ran down Aaron's spirit, even Aaron's spirit. I want you to understand something, brother. Amen, if we're going to be a powerful church for Jesus Christ, amen, we've got to work Hey man, listen, they're keeping the unity of the Spirit among us today. Preacher, what do you mean the unity of the Spirit? Hey man, remember what is written in these verses below here. There is one Spirit, one Lord, one baptism, one God, one Father. He went through all these ones today. Hey man, listen, if I get up today and act like, hey man, I can sing better than Paul or Susie or anybody else in the church. If I act like I can preach, hey man, listen, better than anybody in the country. Hey man, listen, I'm trying to edify myself. Amen. But our job today is to come together. Amen. Listen, that the all might be, amen, listen, in one. Amen. Listen, friend, I realize in this area we have a lot of different denominations. 
Amen, listen, we could name them all if we like. Amen, listen, but I want you to understand there is only one church. Our job is to endeavor, amen, that the world would see us, amen, as one. Amen, listen, I, for me to walk, amen, listen, my, my body has to endeavor to work together. Amen, listen, if, if this leg is trying to go this way and this leg's trying to go that way, I'll never get anywhere. I'm telling you, we've got to, amen, work together together. If I'm trying to carry a load, hey man, listen, I just can't carry that load. Hey man, listen, if it's very big, Brother Frank, hey man, listen, with my hands, I've got to use my legs and my back as long as my friend with my hands. Why is that? I want you to know the load that we've got. Hey man, listen, it's, I know that Jesus said his load is easy and light. Hey man, but our load is big today. Hey man, listen, as we look at the task that lies before us. Therefore, we've got to make sure, number one, that we endeavor, amen, listen, to keep that unity. Number two, we've got to make sure that all things are done for the edification of the body of Christ. In other words, it's not about, amen, listen, just me, or not just about you, just a a handful even. Somebody said one time, amen, said, y'all got a clique going on down there. Amen, listen, I said, come join the clique. Hey Amen. Listen, brother. If we're trying to get this side uh, pitted against this side, or uh, Amen. Listen, uh, or the front uh, against those in the back. Actually, uh, we ain't got very many in the front. Y'all, the, uh, y'all the few. Uh, amen. Listen. Uh, I want you to understand something. Uh, whatever we do here, uh, Amen. If we have a dinner, uh, it should be for the edification of the body of Christ. Uh, if we take up an offering, uh, it should be for the edification of the body of Christ. Uh, if we sing a song, uh, it should be for the edification of the body of Christ. Let all things be done for the edification of the body of Christ. Amen. When we get in our our minds, it's about us. Amen. Listen, and not them. And we want to do things our way. Amen. Listen, brother. And push everybody else out. We're in the wrong. Hey, listen. We've got to stay together. Work together. Why? That the power of God might be revealed in us. When the team goes on, a ball field, let's say a baseball field. I'm a baseball fan. <laughs> hey man, listen, the Cincinnati Reds every game, they'll put nine players out there. They've got a guy on the mound that's pitching the ball. They've got a guy behind the plate that's catching the ball. Hey man, that's calling the pitches. They've got a guy guarding first, second, shorts, top third, and in the outfield. Hey man, listen, the opponent comes up. Amen, listen, let's say that the pitcher, amen, throws it right down, maybe, amen, right down the heart of the plate. Amen, listen, I mean something that anybody can crush. I'm telling you, amen, all of a sudden that ball goes in there. You know what? That outfielder's got to react. If he just stands there, amen, like this and lets that ball fall, amen, it's going to hurt the team. Amen, listen, if the, if the pitcher never gets the ball where the catcher says to put it, amen, listen, it'll affect the team. It's not only the pitcher. It's not only the outfielder. Amen, listen, if, if the ball's hit to the shortstop and he show, throws it to the first baseman and the first baseman's sitting there picking his fingernails, amen, it affects the whole team. What are you saying? I'm saying we got to keep our mind on the game and be together in as one body moving forward. Amen. Why? That the body of Christ might be edified. And I'm not talking just about Puritan church. I'm talking about the body as a whole today. We can't say that we don't need those others down the road. Amen. Why? Because we're singing ourselves out. We've got to make sure, amen, that all things work together for God's glory today. Amen. 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 So we're endeavoring. What are we endeavoring for? We're endeavoring for the edification. Amen. Why is that, preacher? Because here's how we do it. Amen. Listen to the scripture. I mentioned it this morning. It said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. You say, preacher, I can't do much in the church. I can't sing. Amen. Listen, I'm too backward to testify. 
Amen. Listen, I, I ain't going to take up an offering. Everybody be looking at me as I'm taking up the offering. They might ask me to bless that offering. Amen. Why? Amen. Listen, I'm telling you today, if your job in this church is to pray, amen, let the effectual fervent prayer, amen, that continual effectual, amen, that word effectual comes from the word effect. Amen. I'm telling you today, what does it mean? It means it causes things to change when something affects something. Brother, he'll bring about a difference. If our prayers are not making a difference, amen, we're wasting our time with our prayers. Oh, listen, there are times when I go to pray. It's not always. It's not every time. Amen. But there are times when I go to pray. All I can do is cry in the Holy Spirit. God, to pray for me. But I'm telling you, God knows my my heart, God knows my need. And there are times when I pray, brother, I know I've reached heaven's throne and I've made a difference somewhere, whether it be in the life of someone in the hospital, maybe someone discouraged, amen, listen, or someone in the midst of a storm. I want you to know today, amen, let your life be effectual, amen, not only your life prayer, but your whole life effectual upon somebody. Be a good influence. Amen. Let everything be done. Amen. Endeavoring to keep the edification. Amen. Listen, in the body of Christ. Oh, where are we going, church? Where are we headed? Oh, listen. If we had enough power in us, amen, listen, how much power would we have? If we were to judge our power gauge, amen. If I would pick up my phone and look on it, it tells me how much power is left in that battery. Amen. Listen, if, uh, if God, listen, allows you to walk by faith every day this week, amen, listen, and the adversary has his way with you, like he does Job, how much power, amen, listen, is in, in your, in stored inside. Amen. Here's the, that's the thing about that phone. Amen. Listen, when you look at a battery, hey, listen, it doesn't have, you can't see the power in it. Amen. You just got to have faith in its hair. Amen. That meter's reading. That meter might not always be accurate. Amen. Some, I remember I've had a few phones. I look at them and it say uh, uh, 80%. Shut that thing up, turn it off, lay it down, pick it up. Next thing you know, it's got 20%. I'm like, where did my power go? I'm telling you today, my friend, we need me to, I need to make sure our battery are fully charged. Amen. Why? Amen. Listen, because we need to be ever ready. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. Let him that steal stole steal no more, but rather let him labor working with his hands the things which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. I don't know why I brought that scripture in there. It's good. <laughs> Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good in the use for edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearers. Grace to the hearers. I'm telling you today, friend, we need to live every day as if it's our life day. Live every day it's as if the whole world is watching our life. We don't know, sir, who's looking at us at what moment and what time. We don't know who's in a valley of decision that might be ready to turn to Christ or even to turn away from Christ. They're ready to give up hope in world, excuse me, in the world in general and take their own life. We don't know. Amen. When we might be that ray of sunshine that somebody might need to see that there is a reason for living. I'm telling you today, I like that song. Amen. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. And because he lives, all fear is gone. Why is that preacher? Because there's an Easter. There's any word. He rose. He ain't dead anymore. Let me give you one more E word and I'll quit. <laughs> For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, who in all points was tempted, yet without sin. <laughs> Whoever liveth to make intercession for you and I. He ever lives. He ever lived. Do you know that today? You know why I have power to pray? Power to be overcomers? <laughs> Amen. Because he lives. He ever lives. He will never. Oh, John was on the Isle of Patmos. I'm going to tell you something. I, 
when the scripture starts out there in John, he said, I was on the Isle of Patmos for the Lord, word of the Lord's sake. Amen. In other words, I'm sitting there, I've been preaching about Jesus Christ. Amen. I got put in prison. I was exiled to this isle. Oh, Lord Jesus, for preaching your name. I'm going to tell you something. I think Brother John might have been a little bit discouraged as he sat there. Amen. With all them thieves and robbers, the worst of the worst was put on that eye. And John said, oh, Lord, what in the world did I do to be here? And I'm telling you why God had him there. Amen. Had John been out preaching the gospel, that John's heart wouldn't have been ready to receive the revelation from Jesus Christ. Hey man, what do you know, preacher? How do you know that? Because after John wrote the book of Revelation, God got him off that island. He went and preached it, brother. Amen. But he had to get yeah. on the rock. He had to get rock bottom. Imagine that I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And I heard a voice behind me. And I turned to see the voice, a, a voice of many waters. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. I'm going to tell you something. I picture that now, John, again. He said in there, maybe he's singing it, oh, he hee song, gloom, despair, agony on me. You know the whole thing. And he's sitting there and he's having his pity party. Hey, man, and somebody says, hey, John, I want you to write a book for me. And John said, I turned and saw him, and I fell at his feet as dead. Amen. Listen, his appearance. Amen. He had hair white as wool, eyes of a flaming fire. Feet has been burned with fire and brass. Amen. Had down that long robe in a vester. I'm telling you today, I want you to know there was a golden girdle about his pipes. John knew exactly who it was. Amen. Listen, I'm telling you, later on, there might have been an angel there. And John falls down to worship him. And the angel said, do it not. I'm thy fellow brethren. Amen. Worship God. Amen. But in chapter 1, amen, listen, that individual allows John to worship him. Who was that? I'm telling you, when you feel like nobody cares, nobody knows your soul, honey, Jesus will come and he whispers, speak peace to your soul. Praise the Lord. We may be exiled. But I'm telling you, we've got a high priest that knows everything that we've went through. Everything that we'll go through from here on out. He suffered like no man has ever suffered. Because he loved me. Are you willing? Are you ready? Are you able to do what you need to do? Are you endeavoring? Again, endeavoring means to work at. What are you working at? You know, if I, if I go into a gym... I'll be honest with you, I couldn't go in the gym and pick up a 100-pound dumbbell and go start curling that thing. If I spend enough time in that gym, I may have to start out as a five. But if I keep working and keep endeavoring, I can move up. And that's what you and I need to do. Brothers, to move up. <laughs> Paul said, forget him those things. You listen to me today, church. Paul said, forget him. We can't look back at 2018. We can't look back at 2017. We can't look back, amen, to 1987 when this church was open. We can't look back to 1921 when the church was founded. Forgetting those things which are behind me, I press forward to the mark and the prize and the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Are you ready to endeavor with me and labor for the cause of Christ and press forward today? Are you ready? Girls, come get a song. <laughs> Keep pressing on the upward way. Amen. Why? Because there's higher ground. That'd be a good song. I am pressing on the upward way. Pressing toward the higher ground. Amen. No sweeter place I have found. I think is the way that song goes. Glory to God. Let's stand tonight. Amen. Maybe you have a bird. Maybe you want to come and say, Lord, amen, I need you, Lord. I want you to use my life. God, may take it, make it what you'd have it to be. God, help me to endeavor today.